On December 12th, 26-year-old Jean-Michael Descamps died while Milwaukee police officers were bringing him to a mental health facility. I miss him so much. I haven't seen him in so long because of the drugs. The loss of Descamps painful for his sister Gabby Kabatic. I have so many pictures I could show you. Just like him making funny faces all the time because that's how he was. Police say Descamps was discharged from the emergency room at Providence Hospital, but he didn't want to leave. That's when Milwaukee police showed up. And he had warrants out for his arrest, but they determined that um, it wasn't in his best interest to take him to jail. And they felt that he was um, a danger to himself and maybe to other people. That's why officers decided to drive Descamps to Unity Center for Behavioral Health. When they got there, they found desk camps unresponsive. Portland police are leading the investigation and say his death was likely due to a drug overdose and contributing natural causes. It was my worst fear that this would actually happen someday. Kabatik and her father say desk camps lived on the streets in Portland and struggled for years with addiction. He was a really good kid and I think he just ran into to the wrong crowd and wrong friends and just... Um, went down the wrong path. While the family understands Descamps was using drugs, they still have questions about the circumstances surrounding his death. How he's overdosing in the back seat and no one does anything? They realize he's un unresponsive when they get to the facility? That doesn't make any sense to me. As family and friends reflect on the short life of Jean Michael Descamps, they're reminded of one thing. Just because they're drug addicts doesn't mean that they're not human. Well, the two Milwaukee police officers who were transporting desk camps are on administrative leave, which is standard practice in a situation like this one. Portland police officers are still investigating and waiting for a toxicology report. Tim? Ashley, so hard for that family and we're feeling for them tonight. Thanks a lot.